on a Honda fob. As you can see, the key is broken off on the fob, and the exterior casing opens very easily. Inside, there's the interior for the exterior casing or for the fob, and that's easily removable. Just want to put those aside, and this is what you have left with that we want to keep. Put those aside. This is the new exterior casing. There it is, front and back. There's a sleeve, and there's also a screw. So there's only four parts. You want to take the key, you want to put it into the sleeve. That allows for additional stability. Try and get it all the way down to the end. Now you want to just check the fit for the interior fob. Make sure it fits well, and it does. Now the sides of the sleeve will have little slats on it, and it will fit into the inside of the front or the back side of the exterior casing. As you can see, it fits nicely in there, and just slides into place. Not overly snug, but it's, it's not difficult to do. Now you want to take the interior portion of the fob and slide it into place. Here there are grooves. You want to make sure that you're putting the grooves into place. It may take some fiddling around with in order to ensure that it's fitting well. Don't force things. You want to snap it into place. There you go. It's all snapped into place. There is a small gap before you put the screw in between the key and the plastic casing. You want to put that screw in and just screw it in. Screw it in nice and tight, but not overly tight. There you go. It's not overly tight, not even as hard as you would take a top off of.